everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. You can find out more about me on my blog at KeishaJaggers.com. That link is in the description box with links to all of my social media. Definitely follow along if you're new to my channel. I make lifestyle videos, mommy videos, planner videos, all kinds. So get subscribed and you won't miss any. So it's been a while since I have shared basically my monthly spread in my bullet journal. I have been using a bullet journal for a while now since, when was the first month? Let's see, March. I started using this in March. Um, not a real long while, but I've used other bullet journals. I also have a video on just the basics on bullet journaling, kind of in the minimalistic kind of style. And that's basically what I'm going to share with you today. I'm going to share with you how I set up my month. It's super simple. It's almost so simple. It's pathetic but it really does help keep me organized current it keeps me um, at my appointments on time it keeps dinner on the table because I do my menu planning first in here then I take it into the kitchen on the whiteboard um, I do everything pretty much in this little book it was hard for me to find a planner that I really loved I really love the inkwell press I like the Erin Condren's I just couldn't really find something that really worked for me. And I know the lighting's a little messed up out here. I'm filming after work, so we're just gonna deal with it and go with it. So I can't believe we're in May. I'm gonna take you through how I set up my bullet journal. It's gonna be super fast, easy, and just kind of explain to you what works for me because the days of me sitting at my desk for hours using stickers and just making my planner so beautiful is just gone. I have two beautiful teenagers, a beautiful one-year-old, and I don't have time to sit and plan all day. However, I take this to work with me. It sits on my desk. It's usually filled up with papers and um, anytime an appointment comes up or a reminder on my phone or one of the kids needs something or I have a YouTube idea even just sitting at my desk at work I have a place to put it and that's what really counts so this book is super important to me I would be lost without it this is a wonderful um, Letterman 1917 it is the bullet journal edition and I will link this below it's also on my Amazon shoppable page which is also linked below I have lots of different things that I use well, kind of. Lots of different pins, really. I love the Faber, Faber Castell. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, these Pigma Pen tins um, are really nice. This is a Pigma Pen 05. And these Sippa pins, they are like felt tip, different colors. I got them off Amazon. They're also linked below. And I do use a really nice pencil um, on quite a bit, especially on parts of my YouTube planning that is not like concrete. I like to use a pencil so I can move things around. So I also use just a little bit of washi tape, not a lot, and um, an eraser. So that's pretty much it. It's very minimalistic. I don't want to spend a lot of money. I mean, the, the bullet journal itself is a little bit pricey, not too bad, but um, you know, I don't want to spend a lot of money. I have been considering possibly a leather case for my bullet journal but it's not a necessity and neither are those stickers and neither are the stamps I have all of them I still have them um, and I think they're beautiful they're just not practical for my everyday life so let's get started let me show you how I set up my bullet journal for the month of May so this is the bullet journal I'm using and for my monthly spread, I really like to use a few different pens and pencils. This is a really good pencil. You can find it on my Amazon shoppable page. I absolutely love it. Um, I love this Pigma pen and five. It's got the perfect felt tip. And I also um, use a ruler. My phone is handy. And I just have a bunch of other little supplies that I tend to use. Um, and this has you know stickers and different washi tapes and more pins in it just supplies that I use when I plan along with my eraser so for my bullet journal I like the really minimalistic kind of style I don't want to put a lot of time into it the writer carol system really works for me I have a video all about it but basically you just outline the month 
by day. So you take it straight down the page, you know, how many days of the month you have. And then right beside each number, you put whatever letter of the week it is. An M for Monday, a T, a T for Tuesday, etc. And you just take it straight down the page. And it seems rather simple, but it's really effective in managing your month. I absolutely love this. I use it in two or three different ways in my planner. On the following page, I put in a small habit tracker. I don't really like to track a lot of my habits, but tracking them make good routines. And there's a few new things that we're doing with AJ and such that I wanna make sure um, I do every single day. So I just take it down just like the original where um, you take the month straight down and then I put the habits that I want to track um, right on the top and it works out really well to be able to track what you're doing and what you're not doing and again I don't put a lot of them in it's not something that I want to spend a lot of time doing and then right on the other side I just put my monthly tasks things that I want to accomplish during the month of May and then on the next two pages is dedicated to YouTube. Got the month straight up and down just like I did before. And then on this side of the page, I put video ideas. Um, I have lots of ideas and they need a place to go. And then questions because many times you guys will ask me questions and I'll want to make sure to get to those. And then I put notes um, and anything upcoming. So that works out well and I leave more space at the top for video ideas because that's really where I use most of the space. Um, and then small amount for questions and then another good amount for um, notes and such. This area really works out well to plan my videos and I really um, use this every single day. So every month I like to track our expenses and our bills on the next two pages. So I basically do the same thing. We take it straight down, bullet journal style, the original style from Ryder Carroll and we just write out a expense log. So I just, again, straight down, I number it out and put the days of the week. Then on the other side, I keep a log of incoming money, basically. So with YouTube, you know, obviously I get paid and with um, other brands I get paid. I do different collaborations and all that money is different every single month. Now, most of the time, I pretty much have a good 30 day look on what is coming in but I like to keep track of it and I would pretty much just write it out on this page and I give myself plenty of room for additional expenses for anything that's coming out as well as coming in so these two pages just basically hold every bit of information about cash flow um, cash flow going out on the left side cash flow coming in on the right side and then we just move right on into our weekly layout so I don't have a lot going on this week I'm actually off work Friday and I work every day full-time so I don't have a lot that I put in my planner um, you know for daytime stuff however all this that I need to upload a video and I can do that while I'm at work or I put that um, you know we're having whatever for dinner but I'm only using a two-page layout because that's what I need this week a lot of times I will give myself um, a full page for just Saturday and Sunday but I feel like this is enough room and most of the time um, you know, I just don't need as much when I'm working. So then you basically see that I have my month, my tasks, my goals, my video and YouTube items, 
my expense pages, my weekly layout. It's all there and then you just start filling it in. That's what I do pretty much at the beginning of every month. I go through, I look at my future log, which I absolutely love and use so much. And I write in all the appointments that we have going on, all the things the teenagers have going on, birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, um, important things going on at work. Anything and everything goes on this monthly um, spread. It's very important to keep this filled in, to keep it updated. Um, a lot of times I do use pencil in this area. Don't feel bad if you want to use pencil. If you mess up, you can erase it. Um, I even check for my phone for um, appointments because I had a text reminder today. And then I go ahead and start filling in any of the monthly tasks that I know I need to get done. And then here's, I broke out my pencil because my mom is coming sometime during Memorial Day and I'm not sure exactly of the date, so I put those in pencils. Again, I go ahead and fill in the monthly task, as many as I know. Sometimes, you know, you don't have all this figured out as soon as you're filling out these pages. So leave some room so you can add in. And then I go in with my YouTube schedule. I go ahead and add videos that I know I want on certain days. Like Mondays, I really like to post vlogs, so I try to get that done. Again, I'm putting this in pen basically for this video, but I really prefer to do this part of my bullet journal in pencil. I don't like to cross things out. I would rather just erase it and put it, you know, where it needs to be. And things are always changing with the YouTube schedule. And then I go in, I add whatever expenses that I know we already have. I know some of them off the top of my head, but other ones I have to look on the calendar at home and bills that are coming in, and we update this um, daily pretty much, or whenever bills come in, or we have known expenses such as things from Britney's prom, or Jackson, or McKenzie, or AJ, that we know we need to pay. And all those expenses go on this log, and it's the standard bullet journal. And then I don't really fill in any of the income for YouTube or any of that right off the bat. It takes a minute to, you know, figure all that out. And then I go ahead and fill in what I can with my weekly spread. I always like to put my work schedule. My work schedule doesn't change, but for reference later, I want that work schedule in my, in my bullet journal. And then I go in, I add any holidays. My mom's birthday is May 4th. I make sure to put that in. Um, and then I write different tasks that I wanna get accomplished. And it really helps keep me organized. It helps keep the kids organized. It helps keep Ryan and um, everyone else like kind of on schedule because I'm just kind of keeping track of everything. It's a running tally of things that we need to get done in our home and in our daily lives. So I also keep notes on post-its, lots of notes on post-its. These are things to check on. I don't remember when the birthday party for the kids are that Laura told me and some additional things that need to be written out in this book in this bullet journal. Um, as soon as I have that information, it will definitely go in. And then I usually do my menu planning like um, this. I don't write anything in the back. I just have a sheet that is either a sticky sheet or one that's, you know, put in with my menu and my shopping list. I also put washi tape, by the way, on my monthly spread. It makes it easier to find. There's all kinds of cool little bullet journal hacks that I can share. I don't use a lot of those anymore because I just really don't find that I have time. This is all I really want to do. I don't want to spend tons of time working in a planner when I have so many other things I would rather be doing. I also use my future log so much. It's one of the handiest parts of my book. It holds all important dates. I absolutely love it. 
and I write everything out and it always fills up so fast. So thank you so much for watching and maybe getting some inspiration. Just remember, it doesn't matter what your handwriting looks like. It doesn't matter what stickers you have or don't have. What matters is if it works for you, if it keeps you, you know, organized, if it keeps you up getting to your appointments on time and all your kids' activities and all the summer activities that you want to get done. I didn't show you like any pages um, that obviously I want to put into the month of May, but you know, every month in between the weeks, I add pages of things that maybe I have going on, books I want to read, movies I want to see, activities I want to do with either the teenagers or AJ or all of them, um, dinners we have planned, cookouts we have planned. I do all of that right here. I pretty much roadmap it all out. So it just works well for me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, take a second, get subscribed, give me a thumbs up, let me know that you liked it, and I will definitely make more. I just wanted to kind of give you the quick, minimalistic way of doing it. You don't have to be fancy, and you don't have to put a lot of time or artwork. Just get everything written down, get it in one place, and really what matters is that it works for you. Not that it's Instagram perfect, or that, um, you know, you've invested a ton of money and you're really not using it. What matters is, is that it works for you, that you're using it, it's keeping you organized, and it's not costing you a fortune. So that's what this planner is doing for me, and I love it. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye-bye.